one got him. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt, Matt Niak, and I got my eight rods in the back. Today, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. It is an extremely low tide. It was a negative tide today. So I came to an area where I found a whole bunch of oyster bars by using the Smart Fishing Spots app. We have a layer inside of the Smart Fishing Spots app that actually allows you to see any oyster beds that are in the areas that you fish. So I found some here and I'm gonna see if I can get some sheep's head, redfish, or either a black drum on, uh, on some live bait today. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk this oyster bar. I'm gonna find some of these mud crabs uh, that dig up in this oyster bed and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna put those on a hook and do a little bit of bait and wait today while I fish the outside edges of these oyster bars. So it's gonna be an interesting one. We'll see how we do. Be back in a minute. Fish bump, boom. All right, Talk Strong family. So I did start the morning with some fiddler crabs I'd collected at the boat ramp. I'd actually collected them before I launched and I got one rigged up on a Carolina rig and got it set out in front of me. As you can see here in front of me, there is a deeper pool right here in the middle. Uh, it comes out to a deeper drop off right there on the outside edge of this oyster bar. Now I was hoping to find some sheep's head or some black drum or redfish in this area as I'd been in this area with Cameron, our affiliate marketing specialist, and wore out sheep's head one day. So I came back to try and duplicate that day, and while looking for crab, you guessed it, the rod went off. Oh, our rod's going off. Oh, our rod's going off. Oh, our rod's going off. What do we got? We got something here. We got a fish. We got a catfish. Obviously that was not at all the start we were looking to have. So what I did was I got that catfish off of the line, got rebaited, and got my bait back in that spot. Unfortunately, after about 45 minutes of waiting for another bite, I had some dolphins come through and they continued to blow out the spot. So what I did was I actually took note of where the dolphins were headed. The dolphins were headed back into the creek areas in this area so instead of continuing to fish here at this spot that was unproductive for me i packed up my things and i decided to move now as i said i did pay attention to what direction those dolphins went i figured that those dolphins knew a little bit of something and they probably knew where the bait was and if those dolphins knew where the bait was they probably knew where the feeding fish were so i went the direction that they went and pushed into a creek system and started fishing with our new mulligan lure i hit it with some dr juice and just started doing a little bit of exploring. Now you guys can see here I am throwing the kicker crab. The reason I switched back to the kicker crab is because of these shallow banks. You can see these shallow mud flats that are along the side of some of these grass lines. That's where these redfish are sitting, so that's why I'm throwing the kicker crab in these areas because I can bump that kicker crab along the bottom of those shallow areas without making a lot of disturbance. Got one. Got a red right there. In that cut. Let's go, man. All right. Pretty little redfish on that kicker crab. All right. Let's go. After catching that fish, I continued to push back into this creek area. And as I pushed back into this creek area, I found exactly what I was hoping to find. I found a bunch of mullet. And once I found these mullet, I started using the mulligan lure again to start targeting these fish. 
once I found these mullet, I knew I could target these fish with a paddle tail and they would key in on that bait as long as it was matching the size of the bait. And as you can see from the size of the mullet that I was seeing, they weren't much larger than finger mullet. So this mulligan was an absolutely phenomenal choice to use in this spot. While fishing the cut that I had just came from, I could hear bait being chased on the other side. So I came out and made a move to go around and that was when I found all of the bait that was accumulated in this area in one spot. That was where I put my focus for the next 30 to 45 minutes and it paid off well. trout on the mulligan with that Haas Helix got it on the new Pro Scion MQ tank of a trout man let's go all right on that mulligan man let's do it trout hit it like a freight train right here with all this mullet found a whole lot of mullet back here whole lot of mullet back here I was hoping I could find me a fish here amongst them and what do you know see if i can duplicate that fish something down there popping on mullet it appears we're on he hit it on the fall on the pause holy smokes a lot of bait up there running he hit that mulligan on the paws oh goodness he fell off in the boat quick release all right get this guy going so that tells me i'll probably need to slow this bait down that tells me i'll probably need to slow this bait down that tells me i'll probably need to slow this bait down that trout hit that on the paws there's a whole lot of bait right here i'm a long cast into it another on I pulled it. Whatever it was, I pulled it. I lost him. I think it was a trout. He hit me right there like a trout. We're on. Decent fish here. Felt like when it hit, it was a decent fish. Now it's running at me. Some decent head shakes here. Got a red fish here, boys. We got us a red fish on the mulligan. Mulligan red fish. Right, let's go. Redfish on that mulligan. On that mulligan with that Pro Scion MQ. Really enjoying this rig. All right, let's see if we can get another one of those guys. Right, we got two thirds of our slam so far. Right here in front of me is, appears to be another opening to these feeder creeks here. And the current has been pushing in back here. And uh, I came in at a different area and now I'm working a spot where the current is going to be coming towards me and I'll be throwing into the current, which is probably best, truthfully. Now that I'll be going the right direction, I can look for a bite somewhere in here, get through that grass there. coming through that grass there. Dang it. That was him.
He came back for it. I can't believe it. That redfish came back for the mulligan. He hit it once. I missed him. And he came back for it. Heck, yes, dude. Another nice redfish on that mulligan. Showing out with the mulligan today, man. Loving it back here. All these redfish are pushed in back here where uh, it's flooded out. Back here throwing the mulligan and they are taking it. Let's get this fish gone. See if we can get another for it's over with. Right on that mulligan. Let's go. Oh, goodness. I dropped him. He was slippery. trout oh the trout gone professional release now i do come around this corner and start working my way into this area now i do see that it is a dead end back here in the back but i also see some feeding activity back here so i start pushing my way in a little bit and looking for a bite in this heavy cover i am using a weedless presentation so that i don't get hung up and that's super important right here I knew there was one back here with all that mullet. Oh, he's a little one, but he's back here. All right, little guy. Let's go. I knew you was back here, buddy. I knew you was back here. Pretty fella on the mulligan. Let's go. Sometimes you gotta go in a suspect place to find one fish, but it's worth it when it works out. Well, Salt Strong Nation, the day is done. We had to change the plans a little bit because we weren't quite finding the action that we were looking for, but that doesn't mean we didn't have a good day. We got in the kayak, started moving around, and went to locating where those fish were. Uh, there was just a lot of uh, fast tidal flow coming through this area, so it was just kind of moving my bait uh, a little more than I could really kind of keep it where I wanted. So I decided to try and push into those uh, creek areas, and it was actually pretty productive for me. But we'll go over all of that in the post-trip analysis. Right now, I gotta try and uh, beat this light in before uh, I get trapped out here in the dark. I'd hate for that to happen. I get trapped out here in the dark. I'd hate for that to happen. I'd hate for that to happen. You all right, my man? You need a tow? I'm good. You sure? I don't mind, man. Right. You'd be surprised how easy it is with one of these, man. I've towed a couple boats in before. I, I don't mind, man. <clears throat> I, uh, I'd hate for you to be stuck out here in the dark, man. A little output shaft on my... Uh, so yeah, the motor seemed to have taken a crap on me. Right there on that bumper. Yeah, right there that that's connected to. Same thing that you're... All right. No worries, man. We'll be in in just a second. All right, there we go. We're good, dude. Well, Salt Strong family, just as I said, I didn't want to be stuck out there after dark, and I didn't want anybody else oh, to be, uh, so I made sure he made I'm it in, man. just like me. You've ever heard of Salt Strong? Yep. I, I literally just ran out of my slam shady. Well, I got some you can get, my man, no worries. Man, we'd love to have you join again if, if you've been thinking about it, man. All right. Yeah, no worries, buddy. No worries, man. Didn't want to leave you stranded, buddy. And I'll see y'all in the post-trip analysis. Fish bump. Boom. Welcome back Salt Strong Nation. Now keep in mind we do share that post-trip analysis 
with our insider members in our private insider community. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that bell down below. And we do always appreciate the comments. So make sure you leave any of those that you have for me down in the comment section. Now, as far as what was productive for me on that day, you guys were able to see uh, most of what I was using. I was really using that Z-Man Kicker Crab. That was productive for me rigged on that Texas I jig head. That was great to be able to bounce it along the bottom. But the high producer for me on that day was really our new mulligan lure. As you were able to see in the video, I was able to find some of that finger mullet back in that creek area. And with that mulligan lure in that Fred color, I was really able to pick that place apart with that lure. Now that was rigged on the Haas Helix hook. That's one of our hooks here at Salt Strong. And that just does a really great job at maintaining hookups and hook sets when you go to get those bites. Now, if you want to know exactly where we were fishing again, we share all of that information with our insiders at saltstrong.com. If you have any questions about joining or becoming a member, be sure to check us out there as well as there is an amazing amount of information there for you to make you a better angler. Our fishing tips page is filled with amazing information that is absolutely endless and it's all catered to make you a better fisherman. So be sure to check us out there as well. If you guys are interested in the smart fishing spots so that you can find oyster beds just like I did on this trip or seagrass in the areas that you fish, that's an absolute game changer when you go to make your pre-trip plan. That is also available to our insider members exclusively in the Salt Strong Insider Club. If that's something you're interested in access to, be sure to check us out at saltstrong.com. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish, not only with fishing tips and in-depth courses, but also our new Smart Fishing Spots app. That actually tells you exactly where the fish will be as well as the best times of day to fish there, plus so much more. You'll also save tons of money with tackle discounts and make tons of new fishing friends in the Insider community. So thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the Insider community soon.